Right now we're standing in front of the entrance of Oculus Connect to go to the uh, Grand Ballroom for the opening keynote, which is always a major thing. So It's gonna be big, just have some breakfast. It wasn't yeah. that good compared to last year's breakfast. Mm. But it was okay. I'm full. Yeah. Let's see what they have for lunch. <laughs> yeah, it will be better. No, I'm really anxious to see what they're uh, announcing today. Yeah. They were so, talking about a big social media yeah, update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe some social VR. They are doing. Uh, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg is going to be here. Yeah. So the CEO of Facebook is here. So to, then uh, it's probably going to be big. It's going to be big. And uh, we can yeah. post. Yeah. Follow us into the building. We're standing in line to enter the Grand Ballroom. It's ridiculously long. Just let me show you real quick. Okay, we're in the ballroom. I'm so excited. Let's see what this keynote brings us. There's a nice spot in the front. Yeah. Sight. So we're not all the way up front because it happens to be press seats, but yeah, quite up front. Not bad. And so putting it on and still having that like that new VR shock of like, whoa, I'm in another place. And then to have on top of that, whoa, I'm in another place. And I built it. Like we made this space. And I yelled so loud. And that feeling is that you've been taken, teleported somewhere else, and if you then feel powerful and important and in control in that space, it kind of makes you giddy. So we just uh, had the opening keynote uh, of Oculus Connect 3, and there were several things uh, they addressed. So um, if I go through the list, um, they really uh, pushed this uh, avatar creator system. We're gonna yeah. try it out. So you're, you're in a wardrobe looking in a mirror. Yeah. And then you can choose different hairstyles, uh, different clothing for, you know, just some space here. Uh, choose your colors, all kinds of effects there for that. So you can create your unique avatar, which embodies your, yeah. your and person. It's a feature they're gonna implement in Oculus Home. So they are uh, releasing an SDK, so you can implement these avatars yourself in your game, so that uh, yeah, they're all alike throughout the whole Oculus Home experience. Yeah, and the thing is why you would need it in the first place is because of Oculus Home, they're integrating a, a new party system because uh, currently uh, uh, yeah, the whole friend system is like broken. Yeah. Well, they're anything. not really in a friend system. It's more like, okay, you have your friends, but you can't do anything with them. Yeah, so now you'll be, uh, you will be able to uh, connect up to eight people at the same time. You could talk to each other. You can uh, transport, teleport yourself to a different place. They call uh, rooms. Yeah, Oculus rooms. And in these rooms, you have like a TV. You can watch YouTube together. You can play card games, chess. Um, they also announced, uh, they didn't call a name, price, or ETA on uh, bring it out yet uh, a new VR headset it, yeah. it's gonna be wireless it's gonna be uh, a third product line so it's, it's not gonna uh, replace something and it's gonna be uh, placed in uh, between the Gear VR and the uh, Oculus Rift so between the mobile and PC platform you have this platform called standalone yeah and it's, it's gonna uh, incorporate inside our tracking so you don't need sensors so you have uh, positional tracking um, it's gonna be more high-end than Gear VR yeah. but lower than PC VR, so I don't know what this one in one solution uh, is going to be. It's probably going to be some sort of give VR on steroids yeah, inside our tracking. And I what they showed was a, a, a short video of 20 seconds or such with uh, someone wearing a hacked version of a Rift. Yeah, it's, it looked like a Rift. So that, that's that. And yeah. then else, uh, they were talking about uh, room skill. Uh, you're, yeah, you're able to use room skill. In order to do that properly, uh, they suggest you need three sensors so uh, infrared yeah. cameras and you can buy the third one uh, if you're gonna buy touch you get your second one already you can you buy uh, the third one for $79, $79 yeah. uh, let's see what we have here epic announced that their new game I think it was it robot recall robo recall robo recall it's um, it's an actual game, so it's uh, heavily inspired on the tech demo Bullet Train last year. Yeah, um, it's Bullet Train on steroids. Yeah, I, I like thought that. the trailer was phenomenal. I really loved the style, and uh, the, it was like uh, creating like this Apple-like uh, teaser for like this uh, robot you could use at home for all kinds of tasks. And then in between, you got shots where the um, it was a bit like iRobot, where the robots uh, start 
malfunctioning and don't listening to their owners anymore and the whole game is about shooting these robots uh, were out of control and yeah create all sorts of mayhem it's uh, so a bit in a, in a comical uh, style yeah you, you get all these boosters and, uh, yeah. and, and power ups in your uh, your vision yeah Oh yeah, this was a really interesting one. Um, they announced uh, asynchronous space warp, so, so not, it's not space time. No, space not time warp. And uh, what they do is uh, they can uh, let the game run on 45 frames per second, and in between they create this new frames based on the previous ones. And um, with this new technique, they will be able to not only do a rotational time warping, but also Precision. space warping with your headset yeah. and your controllers, meaning uh, they will be fluent everywhere yeah. um, like they said it's not a silver experience. bullet so don't expect uh, magical things happening out there but they will be able to lower the recommended spec for VR so it was like an i5 uh, with a uh, GTX 970 uh, that will be a i3 with a GTX 960 yeah that's a minimum spec so it's not a recommended spec it's a minimum spec that you can run so for uh, our VR enthusiasts out there already buying like a thousand dollar VR headset it's not really interesting you probably already met the minimum but it's cool for new people out there who are, you know, who are like, oh, I can't do this with my current PC, I have to buy a new PC as well. Oh, well, maybe you now can do the same without buying that new PC. Um, they also announced new in-ear uh, headphones. headphones, so you could replace uh, the current ones, which you could already snap off, and you could replace these, and they were supposed to, they cost like $49, and they supposedly matched Nine hundred dollars headsets, or uh, yeah, even they better. were on par or better. So, so uh, yeah, and we got a couple of them for free. Yeah, we like have a small box. You got them for free, so that's how special they are. Uh, yeah, it's still inside the box. You just click them on the spot where you uh, get rid yeah. of the old ones. Um, then what they also announced, I didn't really recall the name, was uh, this new audio SDK. Look at it at a, as a skybox. For, for sound, for sound. Yeah, so ambisonic sound. So that, that that's yeah. um, going to uh, be more positional um, audio for ambient sound. So yeah, more like and a what they said is if you put ears. it in like a jungle with a proper scene and then uh, spatial uh, things, it would really the scene sound come like alive. Yeah. The two things from the presentation you you, you probably need to look at yourself was uh, first the on stage demo by Mark Zuckerberg for the social VR. Yeah, that was really good. It was really cool. They uh, like a he was talking to like two avatars and they were like, um, yeah, what we were doing. They were like uh, teleporting through 360 videos and, and whatnot, talking to each other, taking selfies, even making some sort of, uh, it wasn't Skype, but a Skype call, Facebook messenger call with a person in real life. And then Mark could take out a virtual selfie stick and make a virtual photo of himself yeah. and the person. That was sounds really kind cool. of fake, but you really have to uh, see it to... Yeah, if you see it, you know what I'm talking about. It's it like was, mixing uh, three layers of reality and virtual reality uh, and in they, one. They didn't nice. say uh, other kinds of integration, so it's not like you're, you're getting all your messages of your phone uh, out there, just like, you know, with the HTC Vive, but this is like one thing. Yeah. And the other thing which is really interesting, you should definitely watch uh, yourself, is the uh, um, the last talk by Michael Abrash, um, yeah, where he always explains good. in his words and in his opinion, so that's not a fact, uh, where VR might be in five years. Yeah. And the one thing that wasn't even mentioned or talked about, and we're going to mention it, is where's Paul Lucky? Yeah, we haven't seen him. We haven't seen him on stage. He wasn't here. He, he wasn't, wasn't here. even uh, he wasn't at a party. Named. He wasn't even. It was the nothing. Hmm, too bad. So I wonder where he will be. Um, yeah, well, what's happening in the future with him? If he's going to be with Oculus or maybe he's already yeah, there's gone. There's already speculations and stuff. But yeah, I yeah, just, we don't uh, get into like to keep it on a rumor train, and uh, we'll just. Um, see where, uh, yeah, where he so, pops um, up. It's now um, 2 o'clock and we're getting late for our session, so uh, we're yeah. gonna check out and uh, see you later. Until next time.